Hello, hello, it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. <laughs> Welcome to my 12 Days of Christmas video series. This is happening. In addition to revealing the gifts as part of my 12 Days of Christmas gift box, I am also revealing sneak peeks from the upcoming Stampin' Up! mini catalog, January through June 2022, which starts January 4th. If you're a demonstrator, then you can order from the mini catalog right now. And if you're not a demonstrator, you'll be able to order the things I'm showing you today starting on January 4th. So I'm combining the gifts with the sneak peeks. I actually plan to send this to somebody, so I don't want to tear open the tape. So let's pretend and pull it out of the bag and we get, oh, expressions in ink ephemera pack. This is something that's in the annual catalog, and just like the other 12 Days of Christmas gifts, it is not Christmas themed at all. This ephemera pack goes with the Expressions and in Ink Suite in the annual catalog and includes, I'm, trying, I'm really struggling. Oh, here's why. <laughs> um, it includes laser cut gold details, labels, and these leaves, and you get several different sheets here of the same thing. And then also some iridescent self-adhesive sequins. Oh my gosh, aren't these beautiful? Let me show you really quick some samples that I've created using the Expressions in Ink Ephemera Pack. Now these are from the um, annual catalog. I'm gonna start with these and then I'm gonna show you new product. So here are some things that I've done with the Expressions in Ink Suite with the coordinating designer paper and the stamp set. And this is something that you can still get. It's in the annual catalog, so it's available right now. So if you love the look of these cards, there's the sequins, then you can still get this stamp set and um, the designer paper and everything to make the cards that I'm showing you right now. But I thought it would be really fun to combine these gold, beautiful accents with some brand new designer paper. So what do you say? Let's take a look. Look at this paper. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. This is from the new January through June 2022 mini catalog. It will be available to order starting January 4th because the catalog is not current yet. I cannot show you the inside of the catalog. So I'm opening it up for my own reference. This designer paper is called Symbols of Fortune. And if you do have your catalog, it's on pages 22 and 23 of the catalog. And it has a very Asian sort of um, inspiration to it. I love the ginkgo leaves. So one side here, we've got all these Sahara sand crumb cake kind of colors with white and gold. So beautiful. Lots of color though on the opposite side. There's our crumb cake with the bamboo, our soft succulent clouds with the cranes. Oh my gosh, look at this one. It looks like linen, it's so gorgeous. Calypso Coral is the pinky color here. And there is a die that cuts the coordinating stamp image and also cuts the designer paper. Love this one here. So the colors in this paper are Calypso Coral, Evening Evergreen, Soft Succulent, Crumb Cake, Smoky Slate, and of course the gold um, foil. Isn't this gorgeous? Also in this suite, we have this um, polished mother of pearl 12 by 12 specialty paper. This is really heavy, like a cardstock quality. And we've got this really fun, um, it almost reminds me of like a countertop, like, you know, from the, um, from the 50s or 60s with that fun like irid iridescent. So it's a glossy cardstock, but we also have that mother of pearl going on. And this is 12 by 12. I So is the designer paper. I've just cut it down um, to share with you. There's a beautiful soft succulent satin ribbon that's part of the suite. However, it's not available to order yet. So I haven't been able to get it. Um, and then we have polished dots, which I actually showed yesterday on the card that we made. And they have the soft pink as well as the clear. These are um, enamel dots. And then the stamp set and bundle that goes with the suite is called Crane of Fortune. And it has this beautiful like brush stroke kind of image of the crane and the flowers and then coordinating dies. I love the detailed ginkgo leaves there. So this die that die cuts the flower image will also die cut the flower from the designer paper just like that. I love it when they do this. <laughs> Makes it so versatile. So some of these flowers um, are not 
like the full flower image that cuts with the die. You can hand cut those if you want to. So today I'm using this because it has this gorgeous gold foil in there and I thought it would be really pretty to um, use the ephemera pack with this suite. So we're gonna make a card. This is my first time um, using this bundle. In fact, it's so new that it literally arrived three hours ago. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was going to come in time, and so I didn't really have a backup plan. <laughs> That's how last minute this was. I'm going to case the catalog again. Case the catalog means copy and selectively edit or copy and share everything, and it's something I always do when a new catalog comes out. I'm always inspired by the samples that are in there, and I love to sort of recreate them and put my own twist. So I'm not allowed to show you the sample, but if you are if you have a copy of the catalog, it's on page 22, um, and I've pre-cut some of the the pieces so let me bring those in here um, we're going to use this clouds here on the background so I've got a regular card front that is um, five and a half by eight and a half scored in half for our card base this is crumb cake for the card base and then i um, loving this image with the almost linen looking designer paper and the cloud soft succulent with some cranes in the background and then what's fun about this one is we have some layering with these squares and again I'm just taking this idea right from the catalog um, I thought it I thought it was really a fun layout and I am always obsessed with layouts so that's sort of what drew me to this card so I'm going to layer these over here and I'm actually going to do that with some um Stampin' Dimensionals. I love how they have that on there. We're going to have the sentiment and then we're going to stamp the crane and I'm going to use basic gray. You could also use black. I think the basic gray is like a little, a little softer for this crane. And if you wanted to go even softer, you could do smoky slate, which is what the gray is supposed to be in here. So I'm going to use some uh, basic gray and I'm going to stamp this on Whisper White cardstock. Um, it's okay that I got a little edge there because I'm going to cut it out with the die cutting machine. Um, I'm gonna try again to get another, just another um, iteration and see what I think. I'm, I was not liking the dark edges around here and I stamped it again. I like that a little bit better. So I'm gonna die cut this side. I love that we can cut, turn our paper around and have two sides. So there's the crane. While I've got this out, I'm going to use the um, the same ink to stamp on this piece. I pre-cut this piece of cardstock and it's gonna be tight. Um, oh, that almost looks like I really need to re-ink. Let's flip it over and see if we can get a darker impression. And maybe it is time to re-ink this ink pad. Wishing you, wishing a lifetime of happiness and a world full of love. Oh, I love that sentiment. Which one do we like better? It's a little, oh, it's it's not very dark. Should we re-ink really quick? Let's grab our re-inker. I keep my re-inkers in these old um, plastic boxes. This is what the wood mount stamps used to come in a long time ago. <laughs> and they're perfect. It's smoky slate. Where is my basic? Uh-oh. It must have been out and didn't get put away. Well, this is really strange. I cannot find my re-inker, so just double checking here again. Well, let's get out our um, let's get out our black, and we'll just. I think it'll be okay because um, well, we'll see. We'll we'll see which one we like better. <laughs> I did a uh, five eighths inch by three inches for this piece. So I'm just cutting a new one. I usually cut two and I should have. Um, I will have to order a re-inker today if I can't find it with the free shipping. How many of you have ordered today with free shipping? Woohoo! 
That is so much better and easier to read. So I'm gonna use the black one, even though I've got gray for the crane, I think that'll work out okay. So let's die cut our crane. Uh, if you're just joining, we're using this brand new stamp set, Crane of Fortune, from the upcoming January through June mini catalog from Stampin' Up. So I'm gonna use my little mini Stampin' Cotton Emboss Machine, affectionately named Lucy. If you are thinking about getting the big one or the little Stampin' Cotton Emboss Machine, it is a great day to do that with free shipping. And this makes a really great gift if you have a crafter who's just getting started or someone who wants to up their game. Getting a die cutting machine and adding dies is a terrific way to step up your paper crafting. I'm gonna use some little post-its on this one today. I just, I just ordered some new um, plates, mini, mini cut and emboss machine plates. These aren't terrible yet, but I just want to be ready to go. What are you guys excited about ordering? Are you getting things from the last chance list? I just updated this file this morning. So make sure to check it out because there have been a handful of things that have already sold out. And so my new PDF includes, um, I've marked out the things that are sold out. So if you're not sure um, if things are still available and then some things are on sale up to 60% off. So that flyer is in the video description as well. So make sure to check that out and go shopping today with free shipping. Now, if you're on the Pacific coast, uh, in the Pacific time zone, I just want to warn you that the sale ends 11.59 p.m. Mountain Time, which is going to be an hour earlier for you. So um, just be aware. I don't want you to miss out on the sale because you thought you had more time. Let's bring our card back in here and um, you can see our cards coming together. I'm going to be true to the design in the catalog. And so I'm going to add these squares with Stampin' Dimensionals. And um, and then we're going to get everything else kind of put on the card. So let's start with the squares. And these are two inches by one and a quarter and then one. So two of them are one and one of them is one and a quarter. And um, I'm just kind of going by the what I see in the catalog. And it looked like the middle one was just a little bit wider. So that's why I chose to make that one a little bigger. So I've got my little panels over there and I'm going to add the crane. It looks like that's also on Stampin' Dimensionals. So we're gonna add another layer here. Be careful when you have all your Stampin' Dimensionals because you can, um, it can cause your card to be bulky and require extra postage. So um, I try to not use more than two layers of Stampin' Dimensionals. And I really like the Stampin' Dimensionals from Stampin' Up because they're kind of thin. Um, I've seen other dimensionals that are a lot thicker. And when you start layering those on, sometimes it really, really gets to be too much. Okay, in the sample, they have some die cuts here in soft succulents. But I thought this would be a good place to add some of the greenery from... Um, not greenery, some of the die cut here from the ephemera pack. So I'm going to carefully remove these laser cut pieces. Oh my gosh, I love that touch of gold. So I have that one and then I think I'm going to do this one over there. Oh, that's so pretty. So let's add those down. And I'm gonna kind of cover up the bottom. So I'm going to use glue dots or you could also use some liquid glue. Let's just use the liquid glue here. Um, just at the bottom to hold those in place. Now, if you wanted to, you could also add some to the bigger areas here. Um, another good way to add these laser cut pieces is to use a sponge dauber and then apply the liquid glue to the back of the sponge dauber. So I've got the liquid glue, which is gonna dry clear, and then I'm going to add this on with some Stampin' Dimensionals. And because I already have 
some dimension going on. I'm putting my dimensionals toward the bottom so that when I overlap um, here, it's going to not be like dimensional on top of dimensional. So I'm gonna do that right at the base. Oh, I love the way this card is coming together. Now this suite has some polished dots. Let me show you those again. Where did they go to? Um, here they are. The polished dots um, are a really pretty embellishment. So on the original card, this is, this is what was used to embellish the card. However, since my ephemera pack comes with these sequins that are self-adhesive, I'm going to use these instead on my card. So I'm gonna add Oh, wow, 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 wow. Oh, 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 I love the way this is coming together. So I like to do in odd numbers, right? So I'm gonna do three, one, two, three, and then I'm gonna move that a little. Oh, wow. Okay, so this was day eight. I combined the Crane of Fortune, the new bundle with the designer paper, um, Symbols of Fortune, to create this card with day eight's gift, was, which was the Expressions in Ink Ephemera Pack. Oh my gosh, I hope that you've been enjoying these sneak peeks. Be sure to come back tomorrow at one o'clock p.m. Central Time. I'll be sharing and revealing gift number nine and showing you another new sneak peek from the January through June mini catalog. Make sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future videos. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!